It took everything I had away from me. It took my home. It took who I was. It took my control of me away. Ludington is a great town for beach and sunshine, and to me it's just a wonderland for fishing and hunting. We had our kids around and grandkids, and it was just great. I'd been a corrections officer for 10 years when I got injured. I stepped on some ice and my feet just come out from underneath me and I landed on my back. Later we found out that it pushed a vertebrae forward into my stomach. Truthfully, it was hell. He told me to drive myself home. The doctor says, you're not going to work. He says, you keep taking these pain pills and muscle relaxers. They sent this lady that was supposed to help you get back to work. And she says, you're faking. So from that point on, I just had a bad taste in my mouth. I really didn't want to have surgery. I just wanted them to get the pain levels down and get me back in shape where I'd go back to work and it just never happened. After two years, I gave in and told them that, okay, let's do the surgery. When I started waking up, I'm thinking, okay, the pain I'm feeling now is just from the surgery. My legs just felt like I'd been run over by a Mack truck. The left leg was totally numb, and then I was diagnosed with a neurogenic bladder. They said it was caused from the surgery, nerve damage. My relationship with my wife was going downhill. Getting in and out of the bathtub, she had to help me do that. I looked upon her more as a caregiver than a spouse. At that point in time is when I just really fell apart. I couldn't quit crying. Being a cop, you are in control of everything. So who was I? I got the spinal cord stimulator. It did help. But then after what, nine years, it started going bad. The stimulator quit working for me. They give me fentanyl patches. For two whole days, I'd sleep. And that's, that's the kind of the life that I was leading with them drugs. Having the pain and trying to deal with that, I was ready to pull the trigger. And that's when they diagnosed me with uh, having clinical depression. That's when I started on all the major drugs, trying to get my head straight. I was really not trusting the system, and here comes this little lady. So I basically give her a cold shoulder. I let the wife tell her my story. But the thing is that she just turned out to be somebody that I enjoyed being around. You didn't stay out of trouble? Yeah, have you? No. She never was critical. She talked to me like I was somebody. And then I started trusting her a little bit. And I got so that if I had a question about something, I'd call her up, talk to her, or, or we'd talk when she'd go to the doctor's office with me. Kathy helped me understand what the medications were that I was taking and what they did. Today, my head's a lot clearer. The shakes, I hardly got them at all anymore. She put me into physical therapy. Worked on my walking without the walker, and, and I started gaining control over my muscles and learning what exercises I could do. I looked forward to going twice a week to go swim, basically, you know. My life quality is like 100% better than it was since I got hurt. So that's, what, 13 years. I enjoy shooting and I can stand out there and shoot where before I could. My wife, she's my best friend. She's my spouse again. I used to look at what I can't do. Now I look at what I can do. That's pretty cool. I'm happy with that.